Hello and welcome to the Italian Culture Institute in Los Angeles. I'm Valeria Rumori, the director of the Italian Culture Institute. You're here with us today for the pre-opening of this wonderful exhibition, Fellini in Action, Eight and a Half Set Photography by Paul Ronald, a very unique selection curated by Antonio Maraldi, organized by the Centro Città del Cinema di Cesena, with Regione Emilia Romagna, and the Italian Culture Institute in Los Angeles, for the special occasion of the 100 years of Fellini. This exhibit features exclusive and rare images never seen before in America. The precious moments captured by photographer Paul Ronald on the set of the Oscar-winning film Eight Enough in 1963 invite us into the world of Fellini and his cast and crew. Paul Ronald was a combat photographer during the war. He then became a set photographer and was the official photographer for Fellini Eight and Half. He worked with renowned directors, such as Fellini, of course, and Visconti and Zeffirelli. Uncovered after years in Ronald's active, the negatives were donated to curator Maraldi, his lifelong friend. Chosen from over 2,000 negatives, this selection of images on display embody the synergy between the photographer and the cinema set. This show gives us a rare perspective on the set behind the scenes with the iconic director and actress Marcello Mastroianni, Claudia Cardinale, Rossella Falco, among many others. The exhibit is curated by Antonio Maraldi. He manages the Centro Città del Cinema di Cesena and organizes exhibitions, film screenings and catalogues with a special focus on set photography in cinema. We hope you enjoyed the exhibition and please stay tuned on our social media for more upcoming events. Thank you. Questa mostra uh, con le foto inedite di otto e mezzo scattate da Paul Ronald eh, è frutto di una serie di circostanze fortuite e fortunate. Sono stato amico di Paul ed è stato uno degli incontri belli nella vita, perché nel 98 organizzai la sua prima personale in Italia. Da allora siamo diventati amici e lui mi invitava tutte le estati a andarlo a trovare, cosa che ho fatto per una decina d'anni. Io salivo a Vassì, in Otmarna, e ospite della sua casa e della sua gentilezza, eh, rovistavo tra le sue cose in mansarda Paul mi aveva dato il permesso permettendo che non avrei trovato nulla o quasi una delle ultime volte invece andando a rovistare in soffitta ho, mi sono imbattuto in una scatola con su scritto 8 e mezzo l'ho aperta con apprensione e, e con patema e, e ho scoperto un vero tesoro perché la scatola conteneva 2200 negativi 6x6 conservate in bustine singole e gliene chiese il motivo e Paul candidamente mi disse che se ne era quasi dimenticato perché aveva sgridato con la produzione, alla produzione aveva dato il dovuto e il resto se l'era tenuto. E, vedendo la mia contentezza Paul uh, mi chiese se mi potevano interessare, ovviamente la risposta fu affermativa e Paul mi fece l'ennesimo regalo. Questi negativi sono rimasti fermi fino a quest'anno e quando in occasione del centenario felliniano ho deciso di organizzare la mostra per far vedere il suo lavoro straordinario su quel set straordinario e far vedere come Paul sia stato in perfetta sintonia con la vena creativa di Federico Fellini. Renald wrote of his experience with Fellini. The atmosphere of the set was very pleasant, often cheerful. I have no memories of disagreements or tensions. Compared to Lucchino Visconti, who required absolute discipline and silence, Fellini loved confusion. His set was much more chaotic and fun. Everyone had a great admiration for Fellini, who didn't need to give orders. 
As the official still photographer, I followed the whole making of the film. Reflecting on Marcello Mastriani, Rinald remarked, Mastriani and I were friends, and on the set of Eight and a Half, there were never any problems. He lent himself gladly for various portraits in the breaks of the set. He told me that I was the only one who had taken his picture the right way, beautiful without being banal. Our acquaintance dates back to 1948, when he was very young and worked with Gassman and Visconti. Renault commented on his relationship between Fellini and Mastriani. There was a good understanding between Fellini and Mastriani. In breaks between one scene and another, they chatted or joked. In other times, stood close in silence. From a photographic point of view, I have always liked the silences. The photographer recounted his experience on set as follows. Fellini did not do many takes. He rehearsed only a few times, taking great care of the actors, showing them how to move. Few gestures, but very clear. On the set, I also worked very well with the set designer and costume designer, Piero Gerardi. Renald explained his decision to use color. Taking colors was my choice. Since this production was in black and white, the producers were not interested in having color images. So I bought the film myself for six by six slides. I always had two cameras on hand, one loaded with black and white for production and one with color for me. For some scenes, I also used the Roloflex with black and white. I always change the shot. 